Ha! <laughs> Welcome to my living room. How did you get in here? I don't know. But since you're here, I might as well talk to you. So I've been thinking a lot about this whole YouTube thing, Daily Grind. There's so many videos out there that are saying, like, you got to be consistent, right? And I think I've even said that. But is it true? Because everything I was saying, I heard from someone else. Consistency. It doesn't seem to hold true. I think uh, when it comes to videos, I really don't know how the algorithm works. Some people are saying you have to, like, land in different baskets. You have to achieve certain objectives, like so many people actually watched your videos in a certain amount of time, which then it uh, passes it along to another one where it puts it out in a wider audience to see what they think. Is that true? Uh, does anybody outside of the people that work at Google actually know how the algorithm works? I'm, I suspect that some of the people who are on YouTube have figured out how to make it work. But um, at the same time, I have to wonder if I didn't handicap my channel. Because uh, <laughs> I have 2,400 subscribers and hardly anybody clicks on the videos anymore. It, it, you know, it's easy to go and blame Google and the algorithm and say, you know, like, oh my gosh, it's because Google hates me or the content that I make or something. Well, it could be because of the content that, that I make. But, um, you know, I have no idea if, if it's uh, that or... You know, we're dealing with computers and mathematics here. It could be that I have developed like or gotten a bunch of people to subscribe who uh, don't necessarily have much of an interest in the type of stuff I make. Like a, a big, a large number of subscribers happened early on when I was in China going through the whole COVID thing, for example. They probably don't have much of an interest in any of the other stuff that I make. So... When I make a video and I put it on YouTube, it sends it out to all these people or to a portion of the, uh, the subscribers that are on the channel to see who is going to click on it. And because most of them are probably not interested in all of this stuff because they only subscribe to try and hear what was happening with China and COVID back in the day. So as a result, I don't make it into that. Uh, I don't achieve the first objective of getting enough views or response, I guess, uh, to the videos in order to progress. That's according to what I've heard on YouTube from other people that claim to know how the algorithm works. But I don't know if that's true or not because I look at the click-through rate and I think, well, it should be high enough that I'm achieving some sort of breakthrough, right? So there must be something else to it, that or I'm just completely getting it wrong. I have no idea. I honestly don't know how it works. But uh, I look at it and I wonder, should I continue with this, making little videos every single day? Is that even worth it? Or should I, uh, excuse me, should I move on to something else? Like uh, if I'm going to make videos, maybe uh, focus on something that I'm interested in. Other people are saying, well, no, you got to dial in the videos. Dial, not to this, but dial, you know, like really focus in on a specific st subject or topic in order for the video to succeed. And, uh, well, yeah, that would be an interesting one. I, uh, I'll have to see where that goes. I was thinking of going and making a video about these just because I've been curious, you know? So many people have been... Uh, why would anybody want to have these instant cameras? That's what it is. It, you know, you take the photo and it instantly puts out a photo. Why would anybody want to have that in a day and age when you carry in your pocket a device that can just simply... Take a photo and you can share it out to however many people, all your friends and family, instantly. There's no need to print this off. I can print these off and I can't share it on social media, right? Not that I, I'm a big fan of social media. But uh, what is driving the popularity of these things? I don't know. Anyway, I was going to make a, a video about that. Polaroid type cameras. I wonder how that'll do. How specific would I need to get? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I don't know that I am even capable of producing a video that is at the level where people will be interested and want to continue watching. I have all these ideas, but oh man, it's so time consuming, right? When you're all on your own and you're trying to produce a, a you know really good video, that's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. A lot of the big people on uh, YouTube and other places, they have a whole crew. They have cameramen, they have people that are doing editing and all of that. When it's just you and you want to do all these cool edits and stuff, even if you know how to do it, 
Wow, it takes a lot of time. It's not something that's easy to just do in a day. I understand a lot of YouTube people just simply, well, they, they have a bunch of preset stuff that they go through and they're like, I'll just slap this LUT on there and I'll, you know, do this and that. And every other moment, it's going to be like zooming in and out and ah, like that. It, it's kind of frustrating. Uh, I, well, actually, I, I'm not saying that's frustrating. I guess I could do that. Ah, 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 ah. But uh, I'm not a big fan of that. I don't know. I guess it's to try and grab your attention. Is that what's missing? I've heard people say that the, uh, the key to successful videos on YouTube is the, uh, how long people continue watching the video. Um, that, that's uh, that's going to really mess things up if you run into the case of, uh, well, the algorithm sends the video out to a bunch of people and as soon as they click on it, they realize that it's not about pandemics in China and then they, they move along. Then you're going to have a, <laughs> a really bad metric there which I don't know how I would actually get past. I uh, would, you know, you'd think of like, well, maybe I can do something to promote the video on my own and get uh, money because, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's possible. I've heard people talk about uh, promoting on Facebook, but I don't know that Facebook is going to want you, well, I don't know how it works with the advertising. I don't even know if Facebook would let me advertise on their platform. Who knows? Instagram, go and... Uh, do some advertisements on Instagram that take people away from Instagram. Who knows? Who knows? I, uh, I'm not sure what, what would work. Or how these, uh, well, I don't know. I guess once you get really big, let's face it, it doesn't even matter what you do. If you have a giant channel, you're going to do well because you've just got such a big audience. So Mr. Beast, for example, I'm sure that, that they're still working on it to make sure that they get really good content. But, you know, he could put whatever out there. Any, uh, anything that fits that formula that he's created for the kind of videos that he makes, he could put whatever out there and people would click on it and watch it. He doesn't have to worry about that. Same thing goes for, you know, any really, really big channel. They're probably going to do well no matter what, as long as they just keep putting out the stuff. And, well, I guess as long as it, they don't insult their, their viewers, that sort of thing. But, uh, yeah, I, I find myself wondering, like, is this worth even doing because I, I just I just watched one of my videos and I'm like ah man I really don't like the uh, the way that it worked or the way that it sounded I'm gonna have to do something better but I know to do something better is going to require a whole lot of work it's not gonna be something where I can do it every single day um, I guess you could treat it like a television series you know they do all of the episodes in one big go and then slowly release them, you know, one a week over a period of time. Of course, that might not be frequent enough for YouTube. So I'm not sure what you would do. Because you'd fill up your channel with a bunch of stuff in between where you're just sitting like this, talking to the camera. And uh, then every once in a while, I guess well, once or twice a week, you'd have a really good video that comes out. Something that's really, well, as well produced as somebody that isn't uh, a professional could do. But uh, you get what I mean. Where do you go with this stuff? I don't, I just don't know. I'm going to find out though. I'm going to have to see if I can figure this YouTube thing out because I'm just curious. I'm so curious about it. What, uh, what can be done? I've never really put a lot of thought into this thing ever. I've, uh, yeah, I've got a, a nifty camera and a couple of lenses. None of them are really spectacular. The camera itself isn't like the best. I mean, it, it's pretty good for what it is, but Still, you know, where do we go with this thing? I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out.